blindsided by the fact that you're not being asked back on the show? No, I wasn't. By the end of the show, during like the finale, everybody was not getting along too, like a, a major degree. So at this point, it was like hard to film together. So. But isn't that exactly what the show is supposed to be? <laughs> yeah, but when you start hitting below the belt, some of the girls were hitting below the belt. You don't want to go to the same, uh, you know, charity events, so on and so forth. So how can we film together? So it was we kind don't of want a, to be together. Kind it was, of a poisonous atmosphere. Yeah, it not was. surprised to you, is surprising to you at all that it happened. And it wasn't just you. It was Jill and Kelly and Alex, also dumped by Bravo. Dumped. Uh, well, <laughs> and, and, and that's actually a, a question. Were you actually? Fired from the show or just not renewed? Because I think there's a distinction. There, there is. Um, I think we weren't renewed, but I also think that, you know, for me, it was a great opportunity now. You know, sure. I have my spas. I'm also um, doing a lot of different charity work. So it was a great platform for me to kind of go to another level. So yeah. all the women are going to be doing this. Yeah, same and what thing. are the other women saying to you who were also let go from the show? Listen, nobody likes the no. But the point, it's always an opportunity to do something different, something better, something, you know, for me, it's like in the beauty uh, world, I'm going to be doing different things on TV. For them, you know, maybe the squeeze couture or something. Yeah. But everybody has different opportunities yeah. now. Yeah, your colleague Jill Zarin was here last week on the show. Right. She wasn't able to say anything for certain on air at that time. I could kind of tell what was going on, but at the same time, she didn't seem all that upset about it and was ready to move on to other things. I do want to circle back to... Uh, What's going on with the Salahis and Mikhail Salahi running off with the guitarist from Journey? Right. Now, Showbiz and I did confirm today that her husband, Tarek, has filed for divorce. Let me go to Rachel Zalas. Rachel's a contributing editor for Life and Style Weekly. Rachel, you know, I'm listening to this whole story, and I have to tell you, it is better than any storyline we actually saw on Real Housewives of D.C. Wouldn't you agree? It's the best. I mean, it's almost like the rebirth of Heidi and Spencer. It's kind of like, what will these people do for a press? I mean, if they only did this on the show, it wouldn't have been such a snore fest. But I, I think this Neil Schoen guy is giving rockers a bad name. Like, who runs off with a middle-aged housewife? It's so bizarre. Yeah, but he made up for it, Rachel, by uh, allegedly <laughs> taking a picture of his <clears throat> guitar and emailing right. it. <laughs> you know, you can certainly understand why uh, Tarek is upset and, and feeling humiliated, but I, I think Neil Schoen is upholding the rock and roll legend standard now. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, the whole story is just absolutely bizarre. I mean, it's just, it's like, I didn't embarrass myself enough by crashing the White House or being on Real Housewives of D.C. What can I do to really, like... Yeah. Get the drama going, you know? Careful. Yeah. And lose all my money. And lose all my money while I'm at it. I don't think it's a publicity no. stunt. I think this is her life, and this is how she leads it. I'm just glad she's happy right now. So it looked like she needed to get away from that, man. But but shouldn't this be the reality show? I mean, honest to goodness, this is exactly well, maybe what you she's guys getting picked up for on these shows. You maybe know? it's getting picked up. Maybe it's going to get picked up, and she's going to get a second chance. All right.